Welcome to today's video, where we're taking a look back in time with a collection of rare and captivating photos. Join me as we dive into the past and uncover the stories behind these incredible photos. In 1927, actress Bridget Helm played the machine man in the film Metropolis. In this rare behind-the-scenes photo, she is seen cooling off between takes. The film is a classic of the sci-fi genre and was ahead of its time in terms of special effects and storytelling. Helm's portrayal of the Machine Man was both chilling and poignant. In 1955, a comet jet was towed through the medieval city center of Chester, England. The comet was one of the first commercial jet airliners, and this photo captures the excitement of the new era of air travel. It's amazing to see the juxtaposition of old and new technology as the sleek jet makes its way through the narrow, winding streets. Margaret Nolan was a multi-talented English actress, visual artist, and glamour model. She starred in numerous films and TV shows, including the James Bond film Goldfinger. In this photo, she exudes confidence and beauty, with a sultry look and a classic hairstyle. In 1959, construction workers took a break while building the Auckland Harbour Bridge in New Zealand. The bridge is an impressive feat of engineering and is now an iconic part of the Auckland skyline. It's fascinating to see the workers taking a moment to relax amidst the hustle and bustle of the construction site. In 1977, Air France and British Airways cut travel times in half with their new fleet of Concorde jets. This photo shows one of the Concorde jets at a hangar in JFK Airport after the first supersonic transatlantic flight. The Concorde was a symbol of technological advancement and luxury travel, with only the wealthiest passengers able to afford the high ticket prices. This photo features Yvonne DiCarlo, a Canadian-American actress, dancer, and singer. DiCarlo was known for her versatile acting skills and played a variety of roles throughout her career. In this photo, she is captured in a moment of contemplation with a pensive look on her face. Debbie Reynolds, an American actress, singer, and businesswoman, is captured riding a bike without a helmet in this photo from 1954. At the time, wearing a helmet while riding a bike was not mandatory and it was not until the 1970s that helmet laws began to be introduced in some states in the U.S. Reynolds is pictured with a carefree expression, enjoying the freedom of riding a bike. This photo showcases a Ford Model A from the 1950s, with its distinctive and impressive pair of headlights. The Ford Model A was produced between 1927 and 1931 and was a popular car of its time. Its simple design, reliability, and affordability made it a favorite among many car enthusiasts. The photo depicts the first train, the Hatsukari 10, running through the Seiken Tunnel on March 13, 1988. The Seiken Tunnel is the world's longest undersea tunnel by overall length and connects the Japanese islands of Honshu and Hokkaido. The construction of the tunnel was a major engineering feat and required advanced technology and a team of highly skilled engineers and workers. Jane Birkin and Bridget Barda Two iconic French actresses are pictured out for a walk in 1970. Both actresses were known for their unique style and beauty and had successful careers in the film industry. In this photo, they are captured in a candid moment, enjoying each other's company. This photo features Pan Am flight attendants in 1973. Pan Am was one of the most successful and iconic airlines in the world and was known for its exceptional service and style. The flight attendants are pictured in their distinctive uniforms, which were designed to evoke the glamour and elegance of air travel. The Endurance ship is shown being stuck in the Antarctic ice in 1915. The ship, led by famed explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton, was attempting to cross the Antarctic continent, but became trapped in the ice and eventually sank. The crew was forced to endure extreme conditions and make a perilous journey to safety, but all survived. This photo showcases Coney Island Beach, an iconic entertainment area located in the New York City borough of Brooklyn. From 1880 to World War II, it attracted millions of visitors each year and was the largest amusement area in the United States. The photo captures the lively atmosphere of the beach, with people enjoying the rides, the ocean, and the sun. This photo captures crowds braving the cold to witness the blowing in of the Let It Know. One oil well on February 13, 1947. The discovery of oil at Letuckno, 
One was a significant event in the history of the Canadian oil industry and helped to transform Canada into a major oil-producing nation. Eric Liddell, a Scottish athlete and missionary, is pictured winning the final of the 400 meters in the Olympic Games against Horatio Fitch in Paris, France on July 16, 1924. Liddell's victory in the race was a major achievement, and his story was later immortalized in the film Chariots of Fire. This photo depicts a German parade in Warsaw, Poland. The photo was taken during World War II, and the parade was likely part of the German occupation of Poland. The photo serves as a reminder of the devastating impact of war and the atrocities committed during the conflict. This photograph captures a historic moment when citizens gathered outside the White House on the night of then-President Nixon's resignation speech on August 8, 1974. The atmosphere was electric as the crowds celebrated the end of Nixon's presidency, which was marred by the Watergate scandal. The sheer number of people who turned up reportedly overflowed into the neighboring streets and far outweighed the number of pro-Nixon supporters who were also there. This image is a testament to the power of people when they unite for a common cause. This image takes us back to 1933 at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Here, we see a librarian's classifying books, a task that has been done for centuries. The Library of Congress is the largest library in the world and houses over 170 million items, including books, manuscripts, photographs, and maps. It is truly a treasured trove of knowledge, and the librarians seen in this photograph play an important role in organizing and preserving this vast collection. This haunting photograph captures the last known Tasmanian tiger, which was photographed in 1933. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a carnivorous marsupial that was native to Australia and Tasmania. Sadly, this species became extinct in the 20th century due to hunting and habitat destruction. This photograph is a poignant reminder of the devastating impact that human actions can have on the natural world. This image shows a woman working on an early model of a service desktop computer that was made in the 70s. The computer looks like bricks compared to the technology we have today, but at the time, it was cutting edge. This woman is a trailblazer, using a computer in a time when they were still relatively uncommon. It's a wonder how anyone ever got any work done back then, but this woman is proof that where there's a will, there's a way. This photograph shows Peter Sellers, Spike Milligan, and Harry succumbing from The Goon Show in 1958. The Goon Show was a British radio comedy series that aired from 1951 to 1960 and was renowned for its irreverent humor and absurdist style. The show's popularity helped launch the careers of its three stars, and they went on to become some of the most beloved and influential comedians of their time.